Yes, hello and welcome again to our marriage classroom. How are you? Yeah, fine. I've been, I believe that you've had a very good time even to uh, relax at home, but also today evening we come again to learn together. And we want to welcome our online viewers, uh, those that are out of our class, but they watch us and they also participate. So welcome again. We are going to learn to get today again. And thank you so much. So before we start our class, we always have that habit of praying because this is not just another class. It is a class where we want God also to teach us and instruct us. So I want to ask our uh, uh, sister Constance to pray for us briefly as we start. Karibu. Asante. Matuombe. Baba yetu wa mbinguni, tunasema ni asante, tumekuja kwa wakati kama huu tuanze pamoja na wewe na tunajua tutamaliza na wewe. Tunaopa chochote ambacho tutakacho soma siku ya leo, tuweze kukitumia katika maisha yetu na tuweze kukitumia katika ndoa zetu. Na ni sifa na shukrani zikurudie katika jina la Kristo ni mpana kuamini. Amen. Asante sana, asante sana Constance. Naamini ya kwamba sasa hata wewe uko uh, nyumbani pale umekaa umekaribishwa sana. Tafuta kitabu, tafuta kalamu na uwe na sisi tukisoma kwa sababu kila moja hapa ni mwanafunzi katika darasa hata mimi nasoma tanikiwa mwanafunzi kwa sababu tulisema hakuna kuitimu no one has graduated <laughs> so even the teacher has not graduated from marriage si ati si japata tulipewa tu certificate kwanza au sivyo uh, Kingsley kwanza ulipewa certificate halafu naambiwa to do all that pertains to that Certificate. certificate. Huu kusomea kwanza. Yeah. Ulianza yeah. na certificate tukabia uende kusomea doa. Si yeah. mnazoma upaka zaidi. Yes. Na hata kama mko na watoto na ni wakubwa mnaendelea kusoma. Na by the way today in our class we already have one of evidence that we are in marriage. <laughs> Kuna mtoto katika darasa na mama Na hata wengine najua ni wale atatuwa at, waoni, kuna wengine wanasikiza wakiwa dani ya tubo ya mama. Ya amen. Kwa hivyo tuashukuru karibuni nyote. Na hata wale wako nyumbani, and whoever you are, as long as you are in this marriage, we are together. So we learn. So you are ready? So last time we learned, or we were reminding ourselves about how to communicate effectively in marriage. And if you remember, we talked about uh, how to listen actively. actively and how to talk in truth. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, communication ni kusi kuongea tu, lakini kuna kusikiza. Okay? Na lazima uskize ili uwelewe. Si ili ujibu. Okay? Tuna skiza ili tuelewe. Halafu kama utaongea, utaongea katika ukweli na upendo. Kwa sababu tusipoongea katika ukweli na upendo, tutaongea kuumiza na tutasaidia. Lakini najua tutaendelea sasa kama umesahau kuna vile unaweza kwa YouTube au kwa marriage classroom, revise last week uende uangalie hiyo kwa video na utasoma tena. Okay? So that uh, mtihani unajua ni maisha, katika maisha, sasa ni vizuri kujifunza. Leo, nataka tuendele lakini uh, tukimalizia ya communication, kwa sababu tuliongea juu ya effective communication, how to go from one level, yo ya cliches, you know, cliches, uh, cliches uh, what we call cliches. Then from there unaendelea mpaka tunafika ile ya heart to heart, ile gut level. Halafu baadaye tukaongea vile ya we can talk. Today I want us to maybe ask ourselves, ni nini nazuia watu wawe na maongeo iliyo na manufa? We call them effective communication. Kwa sababu unaweza kuwa mkikommunicate, huwa tunaongea lakini mnaelewa nanga. <laughs> Kwa sababu kunaweza kuwa kuna communication au maongeo lakini haina manufa au uh, haisaidi. So today tuna, tunauliza what is, what causes ineffective 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 communication so it is not effective because last time we looked about effective communication last now we can ask what causes that ineffective wakati sasa watu haelewani au ana maongeo iliyo na manufaa na wakati mwingine ni kwa sababu tunaweza kuwa tukiongea lakini tukiongea hatuelewani 
the Bible says in Colossians, we read Colossians uh, 4, verse 6, kuna mtu atatutamea hiyo, na ingine ni uh, Ephesians, still 4, verse 29. Tuneza tumia wa Bible, sinde kwa pale kama uko na hard copy ya uko na ile ya swiping, kuna ile ya tusumea. Mhm. Wepata. Wesley. No, okay. Nani amepata? Tusomee kwa sauti. Colossians 4 verse 6. Okay, Constance, na tusomee kwa nguvu. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each other. How to answer each other. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with thought that we may know how we ought to answer each other or every man. Alafu, and it's good that it is using each other. Then, Ephesians 4 verse 29. Nani amepata? Yes, Joseph? Let no fall or polluting language, nor evil word, nor unwholesome or worthless talk ever come out of your mouth, but only such speech as is good and beneficial to the spiritual progress of others, as is fitting to the need and the occasion, that it may be a blessing and give grace, God's favor, to those who hear it. Wow, that's good. It's quite expanded. Lakini iyo two verses inatueleza ya kwamba katika maongeo yetu, moja na mwingine, Kama ni kwa doa au hata pegine ni katika ushirika. Inasema hivi. Iwe, our speech be always with grace. Okay? Halafu, seasoned with salt. Iko na ratha. Unajua kumna maongeo? Kama hile mashakura tu. Eh. <laughs> haina ratha. Kuna eza makuwa na maongeo. Na maongeo haina nini? Haina ratha. Hata watu wakiongea unashidua. Sasa kwa nini tulikuwa tunasema tunaongea? Lakini kuna ile munaweza ongea, munafurahia. Au unataka hata muwe na nafasi ingine ya kuongea. Kwa sababu ilikuwa na nini? Na ratha. Then, halafu that you may know how you ought to answer each other. Kwa hivyo kuna ma, ile tunaongea. Lakini katika kujibiana, si kujibu tu kwa sababu liulizu wa swali. Au nilimuabia yote. Eh? Unaweza sema yote lakini ulifanya? He made noise. Au oh, ulifanya hata iwe mambo baya kuliko vile ingekuwa kama ungenyamaza. Kwa hivyo hata katika kujibu si lazima ujibu. We must know how to answer each other. Okay. Kwa hivyo kuna vile tunaweza to, 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 you know, to you know, get something from there ya kwamba so one of the effective communication or one of the ways we don't we are not able to effectively communicate even in marriage ni wakati hatuwezi weka neema in kiswahili i wish we got that one in kiswahili eh grace ni neema eh ya kwamba tunaweza ongea na, na mtu au tuna, na mtu mwingine bibi na bwana au husband and wife wanaongea na hawana neema kwa mwingine Okay? Hata hajari kama anamfanya asikie vibaya au anamuumiza kwa sababu huna neema. Okay? Igine ni ya kwamba we hata hatuweki karadha. <laughs> karadha ya kwamba uh, you know we are relating. Sisi si brother sister. Okay? Si ni kweli? So wakati mwingine hata tukiongea, sisi tuweke karadha hapo hata ukipiga simu ukimaliza sema I love you. Hiyo ni karadha. Hiyo ni ka kachuvi. <laughs> Eh? Eh, eh, unaweka season. Yu, ni chakula lakini ingekulika. Lakini kwa nini tunawekanga ruiko? Eh, kwa nini tunawekanga ya pegine masala? Chips, unasema chips, masala. Si unaweza kunywa, unaweza kula chips tu? Na kwa nini tunaweka masala? Kwa nini tunaweka tomato sauce? Ni kweli. Kwa hivyo, katika maongeo yetu, ikikosa karadha kidogo. Iyo, eh? Unataka kusema kitu? Sema, 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 na kurusu. 
Mali, ani inaniongeza niwe na upendo mm-hmm. yenye sikukuwa nayo. Uh-huh. Niongezee kwa upendo fulani uh-huh. kakufanya uh-huh. Yo upendo unajua kuna mahali inajenga roho ya mtu. Ni kweli. So uh-huh. ni kama kujenga uh-huh. roho ya mtu. Uh-huh maanisha rohi inajengwa na inajengwa na maneno na maneno matamu ni kweli hiyo ka ka chumbi season with sorts so that we may be able to know how to answer each other kwa hivyo kuna vile ina ineffective communication inakosa karadha inakosa nikanema okay halafu hiyo ingine uh, ya Ephesians 4 inasema let no corrupt all evil communication unajua kuna vile unaweza usema lakini husemi okay imekosa neema lakini usemi mambo ya ukweli au si ya, ya kujaga vile unasema it is corrupt in a communication nasema hivi nikienda kusegenya mume wangu kwa mama yangu then that is corrupt communication ina corrupt si ni kweli kwa nini ninafanya hivyo naenda nifanya hata vile unamuona si hivyo okay kama mama kijana akienda na naenda kusegenya mke wake sasa that is corrupt kwa sababu you are corrupting hata akionekana una sasa mama you know mama nino tarasia tuseme umeenda nyumbani alafu mume wako ameenda amesema mambo yako juu hata unaona hivyo hata ajui kuba wana wa you vile gwana sasa what you are doing that is corrupt communication and then that which is good to the use of a define kama kuna jambo tunasema iwe ya kujenga vile umesema ni ya kujenga ili hata nayo inaweza ku minister ina hudumu neema kwa wengine wakisikia ukienda huko unasema wewe hey, mke wangu ye yeah, anajua kupika. Wakikuja anasema wao oh, tumejua. We unajua kupika. Mm. Au unajua kufanya hivi kwa sababu mume wangu anajua kufanya hivi kwa sababu umeongea mambo inayojenga na inaweza hudumu neema. Okay? Haya, kuna mtu mwingine ako na jambo? Nasema mafunzo itoke kwa kila moja na swali. Eh? Yes, stressia. Ah. Uh. Uh, let ndio uh, ndio corruption ikose katika marriage mm. if there is anything that we have to say mm-hmm. ama to tell our parents mm-hmm. sababu uh, wakati tunapigana labda tunataka mtu atatudio mm-hmm. asimame mm-hmm. why don't we go uh, go and go with this uh, with, with this husband mm-hmm. na nimshtaki kwa mama yangu mm-hmm. akiwa hapo ama kwa mama yake mm-hmm. tukiwa hapo na yeye mm-hmm. ndio hii mambo isikue mingi na isilete mm-hmm. sababu naweza enda na niongeze chumvi venye hao ya iko juni so, kona hasira eh jiko na juni kona hasira eh sika chumvi karada eh, na asamadha <laughs> mamangu <laughs> lazima atasimama na mimi juu mm. lazima anisikilize na lazima kuwe na 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 na, na, na that sasa corruption mm. ingie mm. ya kusengenya mume wangu na yeah. the end of the day atabaki kuwa mume wangu na atabaki kuwa baba watoto wangu Nikwe. but nimemharibia picha yeah. kwa wazazi wangu ama kwa wazazi wake yeah. na, na kama hujamwambia beri hakuna haja ya kwenda kustaki huko unajua ni vizuri kingsley uwe kwanza ujue makosa yako na hata nikienda kuyasema nijue nimemwambia au anajua nilikuwa nimueleza lakini unaenda huko unasikia mambo mengine unashidwa sasa hata hiyo si hatugesema hapa si tugeogea eh eh kitu mzuri nilikuwa ndoa nikikukosea unieleze na mimi ukinikosea yani ndo tuelezeane ndo tuerekebisha kabla ifike mali pengine. Tre, kabla ijafika huko tuanze tuweze kuelewana. That's what we are talking about. Effective communication ile baya ni hii tunasema isiwe koze. Na tunaongea tutaongea hata mpaka remedy. Haya tuendelee. Nataka tuongee juu ya mambo sita ile inaweza fanya tusiwe na communication effective au ina 
inadhuru eh? yeah inadhuru it affects our communication one of them is competition kukiwa na mashidano competition kwa nini kwa sababu tunakaa katika ubinafsi na tunataka tu wakati moja kila wakati ni mimi nime shida tukiongea na nataka kuwin kila wakati tunaongea lakini mimi ndio nataka wa mwisho <laughs> niwe jabu lile nilisema dio limefanyika si kweli eh ya the last man study no the last two man study na katika hiyo kwa sababu shida ni ya kwamba i must win an argument it's competition unasema hii unasema hii eh sasa una kwenu na, na kwenu ona mama yako na bia mama yake so inaenda inaenda hivi hivi the worst mnaendelea kubishana lakini si kwa sababu nataka kuongea hiyo ndio unasema mabishano na dead of it ni yule ataumiza mwingine zaidi au utamwambia vibaya so in an argument or when you have a conflict kama mna communicate haija solve ina solve kwa in, inaisha kwa sababu mmoja amesema ameumia sana amenyamaza au pengine imekuwa even violent meniambia kitu na kumwambia wacha usiingize mama yangu kwa argument unagonga Okay sasa na na yule mwingine anasema ni kwa sababu nimekuambia ukweli. Unaona hata 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 ye haja nyamaza. So what is happening this is competition. Competition. Mm. Na ikiendelea ikiwa competition hata kama kunatakuwa na maongeo ni ya kwamba ni lazima ni shide. Okay? Pengine hata mnaongea juu ya shule. Na kuna vile we unataka mtoto aende shule hii na na mwingine na yule mwingine anataka shule hii badala ya kuongea kwa nini unataka shule hii na pengine hatuna pesa pengine mwingine ni prestige pengine anataka how di watoto wa rafiki zangu wanaenda au this is where we can afford badala ya nyinyi muonge at the end of it unasema unajua ha, ni lazima lazima ageda pale nilikuwa nataka so it's always a competition so today you win naye anajipanga kesho kuna jambo anajua hii sasa umenishida naye anapangia kesho so mtashida hivyo kwa sababu kila sani ni competition na what should we do the remedy nauliza kama mabishano hivi hiyo mimi na what you call competition ni isha what do you think can happen because it's good also to give the right way of in any way if there is such an issue mwenye amefunguka macho mm. mwenye amejua ukweli amejua hii kumabishano ama mm. kukutaka nikuwe mimi ndio niko always right mm. ni ni nyenyeke na niache kufanya hivyo ni mm. kumwe na musikiza mm-hmm. na kama tuseme kuna jabu naweza fanya okay kuna competition naweza kwa mimi nafanya hivi na unafanya hivi mimi nafanya hivi na nafanya hivi so how do those people badala ku compete what is the best way to work together ni kukubaliana kuketi chini kwanza kwa so mm-hmm. from the word go mm-hmm. you start from where it all started from mm-hmm. cuz ukianza kuwezi wezi jaribu ku solve kitu ya katikati mm-hmm. na huko nyuma kuna vitu zenye zimelala mm-hmm. so it's best you do the first start mm-hmm. after that solving that mm-hmm. then you can also you can work together mm-hmm. agree and work together okay. to to be able to move on and if kama itakuwa ngumu mm-hmm. I think it's best you involve someone else a third party mm. that is like your parent but nayo usiende kwa mzazi mwenye anasikiza mwingine ana mm. rely on one side mm. I think unaweza tafuta mtu kama a spiritual leader mm. kama pastor mm. you can involve that one mm. and munakachi ni unamwambia okay for us we have this and this and this issues huyu mm-hmm. anarusha hii mimi narusha hii mm-hmm. sasa tutakaa aje mm. we've tried to work it out imekata so we are just coming here for marriage counseling mm-hmm. and i think that will help thank you so that in a way you don't you're not competing you see how you can work together mm-hmm. i like the way you agree together whether you go to a counselor au wenyinyi wenyewe kwa sababu ni vizuri kama kabla mfike huko kwanza tutatue okay kwa sababu ni sisi wawili katika hiyo contract ikiwezekana na mimi nasema katika nyumba ya marriage ikiwezekana muweze ku solve nyinyi wawili na kwambie you will go far. Lakini kila kitu kikiwa kitu kidogo nitaita so and so nitaambia pastor, nitaambia mama, nitaambia so what will happen? Kila mtu anakaa pahali anakibiria. It can also be a form of competition by the way. Yeah. Suriadia babia pastor yako? Yeah. Tamimi na still. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eh, mimi nilikuwa na maanisha hivi. Mm. Eh, tuseme kama mume wangu tunako tunako na hiyo competition mm-hmm. na mimi nimefunguka macho mimi mm-hmm. mwenyewe yes. mimi ninaona mm-hmm. si mimi nataka hii marriage work mm-hmm. na mimi ndio nime, nimeona mm-hmm. na yeye bado kwa hiyo competition mm-hmm. mimi ndio nafaa nianze mm-hmm. mimi kwanza mm-hmm. nikiona ameleta kitu ambayo tuseme kama shule mm-hmm. nataka mtoto waende Mevin Jones mm-hmm. na, mi, na yeye anataka tumpeleke shule ya public mm-hmm. ni, 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 mimi mwenyewe mwenye mimi nimefunguka mm-hmm. macho mm-hmm nisilete competition mm. ni, se, ni, ni ni agree na yeye mm. nikiwa ninajua mm. kuna maana ninalenga mahali penye ni pazuri mm. tuweze kurudia na time yeye atakuja aseme mm. i saw changes mm. nimeona changes kwa ni, good that's why thank you even what you are bringing out instead of competing in, compete we can add l we say we complete one another we can what we call complement or complete complete ni kwamba vile umesema ni ya kwamba akiwa amesema hii halafu sasa mimi kwa sababu ningetaka hii doa ifanye na tuelewane nitaweza kubaliana na ye kwanza nijue kwa nini ye anataka twende kwa hii au tufanye hii jambo kutoka hapo tunaweza enda pamoja you complete one another lakini kila mtu akijikua amejishikilia yake hata ikiwezekana mtakuta pengine unasema sasa huyu mmoja asomee hapa na huyu mwingine tuone nani atashinda hii itaendelea mtena competition okay lakini na vile Lina amesema agree kuna sasa tumesema kama mmoja pengine asema kama hii shida imetukua get some consultation that will be somebody asking for that instead of saying sina kwa nini tuende kwa huyo si tuende kwa huyo na instead of that you can complete and say okay kwa sababu ilikuwa na shida let's agree to go to this person na tusaidie so every other time completing means you are umefika hapa mimi na kuongeza so it's not one person doing it it is completing one another and today as you say ukikubaliana na ye na muo, unaona ye yenyewe idea yako ilikuwa hivi lakini for now hii yangu itunaweza chef kwa sababu pengine tunaweza peleka Mungu akitusaidia tu wewe na pesa tunaweza mpeleka kwa ishule okay lakini baadaye nao nao yenyewe Mungu ametubariki sisi tunaweza transfer watoto because there was an idea but now you didn't force it you agreed you completed one another Okay. competition. nikiwa na plans mm-hmm. zangu mm-hmm. na sijashare na my wife. Mm-hmm. Wenda yeye ata plan mm-hmm. kabla sijashare na yeye plan yenye napanga. Mm-hmm. Wenda mimi nitamkosoa kuona akoro mm-hmm. kufatana na plans zenye niko nazo. Mm-hmm. Sababu ninapopanga plans zangu na sijemu involve ndani mm-hmm. wenda zikamuumiza zikaleta competition. Sure, sure. Wenda mimi na plan kama kukuwa na nyumba. Mm-hmm. Na yeye anaona atungeishi kwenye mm-hmm. nataka huko. Mm-hmm. Anaona maisha ingekuwa ingekuwa vizuri tu sijenge padio tu kwe pandi. So ni lazima ni share na nimwambie mwanzo kwa sababu ya kupanga niwe na hii ndime mess tumeumia upande fulani. Sababu unapokuwa na plan wende itaumiza familia. Unapofinya mambo mengine unataka kufanya kitu kwa lazima ifanyike. Kuna mahali inaumiza. Na hiyo ndio inaleta kitu inaitwa competition kwa life. True. And that's why we are saying instead of now okay as much as we want to have that idea iwe yako tutoe hiyo competition inakuja kwa individualistic unafikiri hii jambo inakuhusu sana unaweza fikiria ni mimi kama mwanaume i should settle my family lakini useme umepata plot huko bali na unataka tu settle kwa sababu wewe we unataka tu kuwa na pahali ya kukaa halafu watoto wako shule na pengine wakuwa ukisomea town unawapeleka pahali rulo sasa wanakuwa nao tena wanakuwa disoriented na mpaka sasa wanashidwa sasa tunasoma lugha gani mm-hmm. ni mother tongue au ni kusoma mm-hmm. as much as you were thinking good in that way you may find yourself because of lack of effective communication even a good plan had been opposed because there is a way you can also decide we can leave this pedin watoto wamalize shule wakienda secondary kwa sababu hatakuwa na shida we can move into a understand lakini lazima kuwe na nini maongeo 
maugeo na ndio tunasema hiyo mawasiliano very important eh ndio kuna ile akisema ati hii ni hivi inafaa kufanywa sasa hiyo ndio itafuatwa mama unajua anafinyika chini anasema aje ameshasema mm. ni hivyo tunafuata lakini ndani yake mm. anaumia akisema aje sasa juu baba baba alise babenyu amesema mm. tunafuata hii mm. lakini sasa unafaa hata bibi aulizwe kwanza hivi na hivi tukifanya ni sawa mm. saka sasa isikuwe baba, baba ndio kichwa ya nyumba mm. yes ikuwe yeye ni mkubwa kwa nyumba nasikizwa lakini wana, wanaongea na bibi wanaelewana ni kweli kwa sababu sasa katika maongeo that's why we are talking about communication in marriage communication haiwezi kuwa ya mtu mmoja na ni kweli kwa sababu ndio tuko kwa hii darasa. It's true man is the head of the family. But this marriage has two people. The two shall become one. So unless you agree on the direction you are going, kichwa utavuta pande hii na mwili wote iko pande hii. Na kazi itakuwa gumu hata kama uko kichwa. Lakini mukielewana direction yote unaenda kama train yes. umevuruta na kila kitu hata kama ni watoto kumi, yes. wamefuata kama okay. train <laughs> amen eh? yes. na unaenda katika yale unaongoza lakini katika makubaliano remember you have a co pilot or you have a co uh, driver we call, hata kama tulimuita kama navigator unaona safari rali wewe ndio uko na steering wheel as a man unaendelea tu lakini ujue yule anakuambia kuna kona piga right kuna hiyo kuna hiyo ni huyu ako hapa uzipo involve akinyamaza tajikuta pali hujajua you roll and then you realize all yeah kwa sababu huko driver hata kama hajashika is the navigator okay and the wife your wife is a partner in fact the bible says she is also a co-heir in there so once you you are together you are not competing then you complete let's move on so that we are able to go to the rest now the other one is when one there is criticism now criticism is when somebody is always fighting fought kwa kila jambo iko na makosa okay ufanye hii have you seen people in marriage where you find ufanye jambo lolote liko na makosa ununue nguo hii si kala yangu okay ni kweli ufanye hii unasema si ugeniuliza ni napenda you know chocolate mimi hata sikuli hii but ya fruit and nut na ukweli ya kwamba you thought about somebody Uh, and I'm not saying only the women lakini even the men unaweza kuja umejitolea umetoa nywele mzuri na kuuliza sasa hii kwa nini unakaa kipara hmm? kama you know that she is beautiful can you see she has weka nywele imeralishwa alafu unaingia umetoka salu umelipa pesa yote mtu anaona tu kwa nini umeyakwa unakaa uko na kipara hata hakuna asante so You realize what happens even kama mtaongea unaona kila saa jambo ni kama inakatiwa chini. And that one affects communication kwa sababu unaweza kuwa umekuja na idea let's say like the kids that you are saying you want to settle your family na umeamua ya kwa sasa na kuuliza sasa uko ni wapi unatupeleka you know it's good also to say amea amefikiria na amepata pengine ka plot pahali. But then ya kusema sasa uko unatupeleka msitu It's good first to see. No, that's a good idea. Can we see where it is? How can we settle here? Yeah. Eh? Inaweza kuwa plot ya kusetu au komasho, you see? Yeah. But then aku all of a sudden, sasa huko ndio unafikiri tunaweza ka muzitu na wanyama. Aha. Uh-huh. So what happens? You feel like the next time hata utatafuta. Yeah. And that is what kills communication. Because tomorrow I'll come with an idea. Eh, hey, sasa hiyo hiyo ndio umekuwa me, ukifikiria. Hiyo tu. It's like all that time you are thinking. That's the idea you have come up with. Joseph, have you ever felt like that? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, for me I think uh, I think uh, to avoid criticism. Mm-hmm. Number one, you need to understand your partner. Yeah. You understand what he or she likes. Mm-hmm. Then you will be able to avoid such criticism because mm-hmm. unaweza fanya kitu na labda kuwa wapendi mm. ama unafikiri utamfurahisha mm. but all of a sudden unapata your heart is mm-hmm. imeenda chini because of how she or he will react okay kwa hivyo kama nikiatu 
nataka usurprise unamuuliza namba test yake kwanza usilete kiatu anashinda sisi ya bunwasi unaniletea kiatu mtu anavaa aji ya bunwasi no next time we want try again eh constant eh hata hii critics tena nimeiona tena sana sana tusi marafiki Mhm. Unajua naweza ongea na marafiki wangu mm-hmm. wanipe idea mm-hmm. na niki akiileta kwa nyumba mm-hmm. na mimi kwa sababu ninajua marafiki wenye waliniambia na nikaona uzuri wao mm-hmm. sasa nitaanza kuitumia hapo. Mm-hmm. So environment na wenye tunatembea na wao. Mm-hmm. Na crisis mimi na kuja unasema sasa unijua kwa nini usinunue au usifanye kama so and so. Okay? Kwa nini uwezi vaa nguo kama So and so in that way hiyo ni criticism na isaidie hata fadhali mwambie by the way naonanga hata kama unaweza msaidia unaweza mwambia wakati mwingine unaanga sijui pa so and so anatafutanga nguo mzuri kama hivyo wapi so unaweza muuliza hata kama ukitaka naweza nunulia wewe the issue is this i think th- that dress would be good not lakini unajua sasa mama anaweza uliza <laughs> Eh kwa hivyo unaona huyo ikaona mzuri sina <laughs> mimi sina mzuri ndio you know, sasa inaweza kuwa lakini i believe kama vile tuliosoma basi za kwanza na tunazirudia hapa ili yule tuko na yeye akuvuke kila wakati there was Colossians 4 verse 6, 6 Ephesians 4 29 tusisahau ya kwamba hata wakati unajibu au unasema kama haina neema na hana ichumbi nyamaza Eh, kwa sababu hiyo ndio ina, inaua. Uh-huh. The third thing, lack of emotional connection. Unajua katika doa jambo lile linafanya makati mwingine uh, to fikiriane au you think about the other person is the fact that uh, there is some emotional connection with one another. It's different. The feelings that we got when we loved one another. Hiyo ni kwamba Asijui kama wakati huo hata ugeona akiumia unasikia hata we unaumia eh si ni kweli ukiona hata anyeshewa una au kuna balini naonanga vijana hata ako na kashati tu naona msichana anamtolea koti anamfunika na unaenda tu kinyeshewa tu hivyo na pengine hata mpaka ako na umbrella we unaenda hivyo na kwa nini it's like there is that connection okay in kama vile tunasema unamfile lakini shida ya kwamba tunaingia katika doa tunazoeana okay ako hapo anasubuka ako na mtoto amechoka lakini ni ya kwamba hakuna any emotional connection amesema au mzee amesema naumia unashindwa hata unaweza mwajicha hapo ameumia au ana asijisiki um, vizuri unatoka unaenda unasema atajisote there is no hiyo kufeel mtu kama vile tulikuwa tuna feel before and that also can cause infective communication sasa tunaongea na siku ile ingine nilikwambia na umia uliniacha okay you know the other day niliona Einstein tata ilishangaza ya kwamba i wanted to see a couple halafu moja anakuja na muuliza na hiyo mwingine yako wapi? Kusema ameenda hospitali. Na nikamwambia na ukakuja. Anino nikamuliza I think I wanted to see both of you. Na kwa sababu walikuwa wamesema mtaka kuniona. Sasa mama ma, ati wakikuja akasikia maumivu akaenda hospitali PGH. Na hiyo ni afternoon. Sasa na nikamuliza simu ungeenda unipigie simu ya kwamba hatutakuja tuko nini? tumeenda hospitali because in that way i can see there was that emotional connection sasa niambie sasa hata kama wako na shida wanakuja watatue nilikuwa mgojwa unaacha nipige laini do you know that tu kuongea nimwambia kwa sababu sasa hatuwezi ongea na wewe inawahusu fanya hivi nataka uende all the way to pgh uangalie kama maako ametibiwa kama ako kwa laini uende um, umshikia laini na nini halafu baadaye tutakutana tukiongea kwa sababu even that way because that also was very surprising to the lady nimbia <laughs> mimi ananiambia nienda hospitali anaenda i thought 
to make you know that is something to make me to make him just say no i want to take you to hospital i, I think that's what we are missing out because ikikosa baada ya tatukiongea i feel like you don't have any feeling for me you don't even care about me you don't care about my feeling no wonder hata tukiongea i will not be able to season my 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 yeah my communication with sort kwa sababu inakaa ni kama hujali so but if there is that emotional connection na ku feel even when you tell me by the way hiyo jambo umeniambia ime imeniumiza naambia upole i never intended that way lakini kama ulikuwa nakusudia nasema sikia hivyo si hata wewe uliniambia unajua ikiwa imeenda ile kiasi ya kwamba tuna compete it is like i have sub- silent satisfaction ya kwamba hata wewe umeumia lakini kama tuna emotional connection ukiumia hata mimi naumia nikisikia yale nilikwambia you know the other day i got surprised that am uh, um, a mno alidi anaenda anaambia by the way you vile baba baba yako aliniambia mzazi wako aliniambia sikupenda na ni i didn't know why wewe huko nilifeda akisema eh kwa hivyo ulisikia vipi ni kwa nataka usikie hivyo tunaenda kutembea wewe it's like you go behind there unaambia wazazi kuna mambo unataka waniambie wewe unataka kuniambia lakini unataka niambie so kwa sababu siwezi wajibu wazazi wako naenda nikiwa nimeumia Tunafika na kuambia by the way vile wazazi wako waliniambia sikusikia vizuri kwa sababu haikuwa ukweli na wewe ungenilifed. Oh kwa hivyo si hata mimi ni, ni, ni vizuri wameona hivyo, you know? Wameona hivyo. Kwa sababu you know that is something that you don't see. I don't think that's the best way. See we said about corrupt communication. You are not helping your family or you are not helping your marriage. If now you are not able to communicate and you corrupt one another with using some information that is not good. Yeah, and that's very impo- important. And then the fourth one, passive. You can make it to tasemaje but passive aggressive behavior. Now, kwa Kiswahili sasa sijui niseme passive aggressive. Sijui kama ume kaa kuna watu tuseme ina in Greek language wanakaa wamengadhia. Najua kungadhia. Si kungadhia, kungadhia. Au uh, ku, eh na kungwadha. Oh, what we are saying is people who Adam kiongea kuna vile anajiset kwa kila wakati kama muna ogea tuseme let's talk anytime. Okay? Amejiset ya kwamba kuna there is always a counter attack. You know it is not like hukai kwa kusikiza lakini kuna vile we call it passive Nikid, it is covered it is not complete aggression si yule mtu anakuja sasa utaniona nimejiset lakini kuna vile amekaa hivi we ongea tu nimekuset najua vile nitakujibu najua pale nita nitakuingilia nita najua pale nitakuzimia najua we ongea tu lakini najua pale utaongea niseme jabu nawe wake you know what is happening we are calling it passive aggression it is passive aggression haikai kama mtu ni aggressive lakini is aggressive ni ya kwamba unaweza kuwa ukiongea amenyamaza hivi hakuna kitu unasema hakuna lakini unajua ya kwamba ili umesema ni kama imegonga ukuta silent treatment is also passive aggression tunafikiri ni it's no good it is not any um at humility quality hiyo inakuanga kungadhia okay are we together okay uh, i'm saying in ile ya kwamba i can also show you i'm not going to talk to you i'm not going to answer. you can't make me talk what do you do so whether i am verbally aggressive it is a silent aggression and it hurts okay we call those people who do that kneel by mouth useme tu Umepiga kelele ni kama nakwambia ndani yangu umemaliza. Eh, umemaliza. What do you feel? Tuseme umekuja uko na jabu nataka tuongee. Na umeongea na nikwambie sina jabu la kusema. Will you feel that you have communicated? Na kwa sababu hata sija kuita kitu na sija kuambia kitu lakini una feel nimekuresist. So that is what you call passive aggression. Na kweli katika doa mingi kuna hiyo 
kuzimana kwa ukiupole kwa ya kwamba hata akiongea kama ni hiyo loud speaker unafika mpaka tunasema ma, mawe itaisha <laughs> pale mawe itaishia atafanya nini atanyamaza eh ni kama question ya niko na rafiki mmoja mm. aliniambianga sifi kama hii nimeelezea ndio hiyo mm. e, akiwa na mume wake wakienda out tuseme amemwambia leo nataka kukula kuku na waende kwa hoteli wa kule mm. atashinda tu amenyamaza wa kule amenyamaza tu ako kwa simu na ongei mm. na alafu akipeleka mtu mwingine mm. ama apeleke tu rafiki ama apeleke aende na familia nyingine yani mm. tuseme mamake mm-hmm. am, waende out na wako na hata bibi yako hapo mm ana make noise kabisa wanaongea wanacheka kabisa mm. lakini wakiwa wawili mm. ni hiyo baridi kuna hapo kuna communication hiyo ina hapana kwa kuna communication lakini kuna vile communication is ineffective kuna vile wana either they are emotionally distant disconnected unaweza kuwa na mtu ni kweli ni mama ya watoto wako ni baba ya watoto wako lakini hakuna jabu ya muna connect kwa sababu kuna mambo imefanya muweto very distant huu ni mama yake you know that is relational ya kwamba ya blood okay hata rafiki lakini katika doa unajua kuna hiyo tunasema kama kuna no emotional connection mnaweza kuwa pamoja na hamuongei na hata mkiongea ni ile ya lazima sasa school fees tunatoa wapi mtoto amefukuzwa ile tulisema hiyo level ya information Okay nataka kwenda soko nipe pesa au nataka um, mama yako ni mgojwa you know we, you are at informational level okay but the issue of opinion feelings emotions haziko hata nikiumia na ninalia huwezi jua nalia huko natoka nimepanguza nalia bafu kwa sababu sitaki yaone na kwa sababu sasa communication yenu imesha katwa na emotion now So the other one the last one is where we talk about the unforgiveness. Tunakuwa tunaweza kuwa na mambo mingi imetuumiza. Lakini ikifika pahali sasa tumebeba mzigo wa kutosameheana hata kama kutakuwa na kukerekebisha hapa kila wakati unakaa ukikumbuka ya kwamba alifanya hivi, alifanya hivi, alifanya hivi, alifanya hivi, akasema hivi hakuna tulisoma katika au ukisoma katika I mean, uh, the, 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 the love chapter first corinthians chapter 13 there is that verse which says love keeps no record of wrong huwezi weka makosa kama ni hesabu unaweka mpaka ingiane kwa sababu ikiingiana sasa utafanya nini mtakosana sasa makosa ni ya kwamba kama mmeongea na mambo mmesuruhisha halafu ni kama unaenda unatafuta hiyo you want to call forgiveness ni kama iresa okay iresa inaenda pahali ulikuwa umeweka unafanya nini unarab lakini ukiweka record utaweka zitaja hii room kwa sababu hata ukikosewa ni kufunika page nyingine unafunika unaanzia page nyingine lakini hiyo ingine na ukitaka kukumbuka si unajua eh last week suri mwaka hiyo ingine Eh? Sasa hata mkiongea ujue ya kwamba zitakaa kila saa ikiinterfere kwa sababu unakaa badala ya kuvuta makosa mlifanya nini? And the Bible says in Colossians 3 verse 12 to 13 kimadizia kwa hii. Colossians 3 verse 12 to 13 inasema hivi I'll read it. Put on then as God's chosen one wale watu wamefanya nini? wamechaguliwa God's chosen one holy and beloved what do we put on compassionate hearts roho zinaweza hurumiana si ni kweli halafu kindness humility meekness patience bearing with one another and if one has a complaint against another forgiving each other as the lord has forgiven you so also you also must forgive because you see this one is not you should or you may it is you must forgive just as the lord has forgiven us so you also must forgive what am i saying sometimes we say there are things that are unforgivable which are those 
if God has forgiven us all, even those that are unforgivable, why wouldn't we also extend the same forgiveness, even to those that we know have hurt us, so that this communication can be there? Because if we humble and forgiveness, let me tell you, it doesn't matter. Utakuwa tu, ukimuangalia, unakubuka. Unajua ni kusame. Okay? Unajua sikuili gire ulindaganya. So kila kitu unaka ukimbebea. Ata akiongea, unasema, ndandaganya tu, mina jua. Pekini unandaganya kama yu ulindaganya. In that way, you are not helping one another. Na hata maungeo yenu haita kuwa tena iko na ratha na haita renema. So what will happen? You end up again not communicating well. So I believe my viewers na sisi hapa tumesoma. Ya kwamba haya inaweza zuia tuweze kuongea vizuri. Lakini tunaweza rekebisha. Kwa sababu hapa ni musamaha. Hapa ni kufikiriana. Sini kweli. Ile tu na if it is you we ukiona mtu wa kuongeleshi. Sasa we untasufu. When it is emotional connection, we can cultivate that by those words we say it. Iyo rather. Nakubuka iyo rather tulisema. Eh, piga simu na muambie. I love you. And thank you for being a good wife. Thank you for being a good mother to our children. Thank you for providing for our family. Thank you for always kutueka bere kama familia. Ukisema hivyo, wife, husband, I'm sure communication in answer. Kupanda. Why? We also practice Christian, Christians. As the Bible says, God chosen ones. Tutakuwa kielelezo na mwelekeo mzuri kwa wale wanasema that marriage do not work. We know they work. Praise the Lord. Amen. So God bless you. Now we should be good hearers of the word. Ile tumesikia, tunaenda kufanya. Mbarikiwe sana. Santi. Thank you. To get the notes of today's lesson, visit www.mbcimedia.com stroke TMC. Catch the repeat of the Marriage Classroom every Tuesday at 10 p.m.